And so I'll show you uh, two tech tips real quick. And I'll, I'll kind of explain what I'm doing here. Right here, you can see the red line. Well, I want to, there's my finger right here. I want to cut on that red line. Well, I can't stick a grinder or cutter or anything in there behind the car. So what I'm gonna do is I have this panel put on here with Clecos, and I'll pull this panel off and then I'll cut the, uh, you know, cut the uh, line, the red line on there and then put it back on. And then that way, that's that's what this, these Clecos, you know, that's what they're for is so that, you know, you could transfer, instead of just having to transfer a line or figuring out a way to cut it on this side of the panel, you can go ahead and just take it off, cut it, and put it right back on. And I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, well, here's what we got. We have the panel on here with some Clecos, and we want to cut a line on the back of it, but we have that line traced on the back of this panel, so there's no way to cut it and watch that line because you can't get a grinder in there or cutters or anything. Um, you can't even fit a saw back in there or nothing. So what I'll do is trying to show you what I got going on here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna pull the Clecos out. And I also have a clamp down there on the bottom. So I'm gonna pull my clamp out. <clears throat> And then now you can see, you can go ahead and cut this panel and put it right back on with the Clecos. And then you can weld it into place. But the thing is, is you don't always have to use, you know, if you're making a cardboard template, you don't have to try to rig it and do whatever. All you got to do is take your Clecos and <clears throat> um, you have to find where the hole is. I, I didn't do that, but you can take the Clecos and pop this cardboard through there and finish doing your template and use that setup where your Clecos are going right through the cardboard and it works really handy. And one of the other things that drives me crazy is when you're trying to cut something and you're trying to make a template with cardboard and you know, you got a doll, doll razor blade and you got to sit and cut and, and then you get this crap right here. It's all chopped up and crappy looking and you're trying to do a beautiful template. Well, that's a pain in the ass. So you grab a pair of scissors, and same thing. Urgh. You know that's not a not a real clean cut with a pair of scissors, and these are sharp ones. That's the sad part. This is what you want to get. These were a quarter at a at a, a swap meet or a flea market or a yard sale, and I've got about uh, I've probably got about thirty pair of these, and I use them for doing sheet metal. But if you have these, these are so fast you can just cut like that. And look at how clean of a cut that makes. If you're doing a cardboard template, it's nice and clean. And then you take a piece of sandboard and just kind of run across it if you want a like dead nuts uh, cardboard template or whatever. But anyways, that's my uh, tech tip for the day. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I appreciate you guys supporting my channel. Go check out Glenn Ridd NZ Mopar on YouTube. And then uh, also check out Eastern Metalworks on YouTube. Uh, he's a young kid and he's trying to get his channel going and whatever. And, uh, He's doing a pretty good job right now. So anyways, thanks for watching. Take care.